What is up, short doggers? This is Tudoleonte for shirtdog.com. And today I have the pleasure to talk with former one championship, two division champion, Mr. Onglan Saint. Hello, Ong. Welcome back on Short Dog. How are you today? Good, I'm good. You know, first day here, first day, uh, first full day here. Um, it's good, man. Fight week, excited. <laughs> How was your flight to Singapore? Long, <laughs> long, but uh, it's I, I keep it I keep it very you know like uh, uh, stress free. So it, it was it was okay. Um, I never you know I never traveled from uh, the United States to Singapore. How many hours uh, does the the flight last? First flight is thirteen and a half hours. Wow. Yes. And then we had an eight hour delay, eight hour layover. Wow. So 13 plus eight is 21 and a half. And then the next flight is about eight hours. Wow. Oh, so 29 wow. hours in total. Yeah. So basically, you spent your weekend, uh, you know, moving from uh, one plane to another. Yeah. I, I, left, I left Friday. You know, I, I left Friday at eight o'clock from Miami and I got here at, uh, 2 p.m. on Sunday. Wow, that, that's crazy. But at least you have plenty of time to recover from, from that and yep. to, to adjust, you know, your schedule to the Singapore yep, yep. Uh, time zone. Uh, what, what are you doing in the hotel, you know, while waiting for your fight? Uh, just try to keep a good schedule, you know, keep a good schedule, try to get over this jet lag and then, you know, just rest, recover exercise and eat good you know just keep everything simple keep my life simple right now um you scored an impressive key of victory over leandro ateides in your latest uh, appearance how good was it for you to secure a victory you know after back-to-back -back defeats two losses yeah it, it's great you know it's a uh, as a mixed martial artist, as a fighter, you know, lo going, losing two in a row is always hard, you know. It's, uh, it's either going to motivate you or it's going to break you, you know. And I used it as a motivation in training camp. And I was able to get that win. Uh, I went through a lot, you know, for sure. I really, I, I felt like God helped me in this way, you know, get over it. And, and, and um, you know, the moral of the story is never give up keep trying keep working hard and you get your victories you you looked very motivated you know <laughs> even after your victory you looked a bit uh, emotional uh, may i ask you what was going on uh, you know through your mind at uh, that time uh just one of its interview he said that i was scared to fight him you know mm -hmm. and that really 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 like fired me you know but it's i have nothing against him i i uh, i apologize to the fans and to the people if i came off as a little bit disrespectful but i wasn't i was just saying that i'm not afraid of no one and uh i just want to i just want to fight you know so at least to me you didn't look disrespectful but you you look pretty on fire and uh were you aiming yeah. for, for for that key of victory you know was you were you expecting a key yeah. in in yeah. your for sure especially because the last two fights didn't go my way and i couldn't implement my game plan you know and 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 coming off of two losses like i was fired to make a statement like i really believe that i'm getting better as a mixed martial artist but i didn't get to show it so last fight i really wanted to show while your performance was victorious you did have some troubles you know with the weight cutting or with weight in general may i ask you what happened since you missed weight by six pounds that time well, I missed weight by six pounds because of the hydration, you know, issue. Uh, okay. I drank about, I drank like four, four liter bottles to, to make that hydration. But, but the first, on the first test, I was under, I was underweight and I was off, you know, on, on the hydration scale by just a little. Um, I think the acceptable was like point, uh, point zero two five and mine was point zero two six. You know, I was just a little bit off. 
But then when I when I when I drank a lot of water, yeah, it jacked my weight up, and it was just like they were more concerned about me being hydrated than me being on weight. So I just drank a lot of water because it took me, you know, uh, it took me a couple of tries to be able to pee like uh, hydrated. And for some reason, uh, I wasn't peeing, you know, hydrated. So I just kept drinking and drinking. And that's why my weight was so high. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You, I, I mean, the you know, one championship, the weight uh, process in general is a little bit yeah. different. Yeah. So no, yeah, but the, it's it's definitely safer. You know, it's definitely for sure. You will never see any of our, our fighters, you know, be be you know uh, dying to get on the scale. You know, dying as we are on the scale. You know, and and for sure, I can tell you. Um, that you're not going to see anybody like be miserable the next day, you know, after the weight cut, because we don't, we don't really, we don't really weight cut. We just make sure the hydration is right. You know, no, no dehydration. And it's, I, I think it's better on our head, you know, on our, on our brain. Yeah, for, for sure, for sure. Uh, and it's important, you know, for the long-term uh, results for fighters health. Yeah. You yeah. you are now scheduled to clash with Vitaly Big Dash for the third time in, in your career. Your fight will go down at one full circle on February the 25th. Um, the last time you faced each other was back in 2017. How much do you think that he has changed since that occasion? I think he's changed. You know, I think he's gotten a little better. Um, as a martial artist, you're supposed to grow and develop. And in the last five years, I'm sure he has grown and he has developed. Uh, but his strong suits are still his strong suits. Um, and as a and as a as as far as competition experience, um, I think he's only had like three or four fights since we last fought. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, three fights, I believe. Your your schedule was yeah. was way you know, busier than he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I probably had like nine fights, so yeah. Yeah. It, it's, 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 uh, and, and I've developed, you know, as a fighter, because of him, I've developed too, you know, because I knew that if I want to be better than him, if I want to be in a, in a better, higher level than him, I need to train with better people and I need to train in a better environment. And I did just that, you know, I, I, I relocated and I moved my family down to Florida because, because of a guy like him, you know, so nothing nothing against him I, i i i respect him and i and i am who i am because of him you know how do you see it going down this time <laughs> very violent and I'm, it's going to end it's going to end within three rounds yeah i mean your previous fights were scheduled on five rounds you know this time there will be just three Uh, do you do you believe that it will be a factor? You know, usually you had no, plenty of time no, to implement start. your strategy. Please. No, no, I don't think so. I, I'm 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 going in there for a finish. You know, I'm going there for a finish, and a finish only. In case of victory, you know, considering that he's a former champion, you are a former champion. Will you campaign for a title shot with Rainier the Reader? Sure, 100%. percent. If they. Or, or whoever wins on Friday night. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, actually, I, I was going to ask you that. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're right, since, uh, you know, the, on, on, on Friday night, the, I would, it would be an honor. It would be an honor for me to be able to do that. But if, if they can't, if, if whoever wins doesn't, can't fight, you know, I want to I wanna fight again early summer. Oh, even if it's not for the title, you would like to keep yeah. a busy schedule. No, I want to stay active. Yeah. I want to stay active. No, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, as, as, a, as a fighter, you know, we don't have that long of a career. You know, I have about 41 fights now and I want to and I want to hit the mark of 50 fights or something like that. You know, yeah. So so I want to keep fighting and keep going as a mixed martial artist. And I want to take on the best guys. Okay, one more question and then I'll let you go. The card on which you're fighting is headlined by the clash between uh, Rainier the Reader and uh, Kian Riam Evasov for the uh, middleweight championship. What's your pick for this fight? They're both grapplers, but, uh, you know, uh, Abasov has a very good chance because he's got power in his you know, hands and his knees. 
So uh, yeah, he, he has a very good chance of beating uh, beating Renier. But you know, Renier is always uh, he's long and he's much bigger. You know, physically much bigger than Abasov. But we'll see. I think you know. I think Abasov has a very good chance. Ongla, it was a pleasure and an honor for me to talk with you today again. Before I let you go, do you have any last message that you would like to share with us and with your fans? Um, you know, thank you for the support throughout the years. Um, this one's going to be one for the ages. Uh, you know, if, if you like the first two bouts between us, you're going to love this one. And this one's going to end, uh, it's going to end with a bang. Um, so thank you for all the fans and uh, watch me on Friday night. And I promise you guys, it's going to be amazing. I'm pretty excited for this fight. Best of luck. And hopefully I will hear again from you in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Peace. Have a nice day. Bye.